Hello, hi. Um, you know this because you clicked on the video, but I've decided to bleach my eyebrows. I've been thinking about this for a while now, quite some time, and recently I just decided I was going to do it. And it is currently the second last day of the year, and this video will come out, I think, on New Year's Day, and so I figured why not just quickly record it. I'm sitting in my bedroom because our bathrooms have terrible lighting and it's like the sun is officially set and the light is still good so I'm gonna do it. I also recently got my hair done so I figured that while my hair is nice and freshly blonde that I should kind of give give myself a shot at seeing what I look like with bleached eyebrows. Also my eyebrow game is pretty weak at the best of times because I just don't have that much hair there. And I draw on my eyebrows every day, so I figure if it doesn't work, then I will just have to keep drawing them on. Uh, I'm gonna mix up some bleach and yeah, see how this goes. I'm nervous, but I've had exactly one pint, so uh, some Dutch courage is gonna go a long way, I think. I'll be right back with the supply. I don't even know if this is going to work because all I have is 10 volume developer and some powder bleach which I bought last year in lockdown when I decided to bleach bath my hair because I put too much pink in it. I'm just going to take off this eyebrow pencil that I have on and show you guys what my eyebrows look like in real life. It probably means that this is really going to sting later when I put the bleach on. But just to, sh just to prove to you how blonde and fair my eyebrows are. So that's all we're working with. I think 10 volume is gonna be enough. So let's mix some potions. I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucking terrified about this. <laughs> also, if you followed me on Instagram, you know that this is probably coming. I asked people if I should do it and the majority of people said no, but I know you're probably gonna do it anyway. So here we are. <laughs> let's put this on. Oh, jeez. So either this is going to be really great, a really great thing that I do in 2022, or it's going to be like the last terrible thing. It's going to be, oh that stings, the poor decision, the last poor decision that 2022 Steph made that 2023 Steph is going to have to live with. I need, I need a better mirror than, oh, alright, I don't have my glasses on either, so I have to use a very up close mirror. I feel hopeful. I feel hopeful that this is gonna be a good call. Oh, ow. Putting my cellar water on my fucking eyebrows to get off that pencil was a bad idea. My husband is really not keen on me doing this, by the way, but he also knows that he can't stop me. I'm gonna do whatever I want. Not whatever I want within reason. I'm gonna do the things that I want to do. I mentioned, I did tell him that I was gonna do this. He was like, really? Okay, I'm gonna tidy up the lines and I'm gonna get some glad wrap and put it over the top and then leave it for 15 minutes and see what happens. Right now it's looking hilarious and my eyes is kind of burning. <laughs> to our bathroom. Oh my god, it's fucking working. This one's already going. I can't wait to see my family's reaction when I see them on Monday. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you soon. I told you the lighting was terrible in here. It really is. Another reason why I feel like it's a good time to do this now is because Brad Mondo just did a react video. So there's like less of a chance that I'm going to be the brunt of a Brad Mondo joke. But the other benefit is that I just watched all these people do it and I learned all the tricks. The glad wrap thing, the putting enough lightener on, and I also have toner that I will put on later. Timer is on, I'm gonna wait 15 minutes. See what it looks like. It's burning my face. Great. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried that the volume is not gonna be strong enough. Not terrible. Update. We are halfway. 
and already have some very pale yellow <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> Maybe it's just the beer talking, but I'm feeling very good at this. Um, <laughs> I might regret everything in about 10 minutes though. We'll just, we'll just wait and see. <laughs> While we wait though, this is the toner I'm gonna use. It is Schwarzkopf Silver Toner. It's basically the only thing they had at the supermarket that I thought would do the job. The timer is done. That means it's time to find out what's underneath this bit of glad wrap. <laughs> I am nervous. I also can't see anything, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm just like trying to get too close to the viewfinder. See I bleached a bit of my face right here, that's real nice. Um, okay, let's throw some toner on. I'm just going to rinse this with some water, some toilet paper, just do that. Um, this toner says just to like whack it on. It's a shame I don't have T18 because I feel like this color eyebrow would be work really well with T18. This is just a tube of stuff, which I have to unlock. I'm gonna be real salty if this is basically just like purple shampoo because I have a whole stack of it. to wear gloves but oh the other thing that it says in the instructions which was fun while I was reading it says do not use on facial hair eyelashes or eyebrows to do so may cause injury to the eyes so we're, we are playing with fire here everyone oh it's basically just purple shampoo I'm gonna leave this on for like 15 minutes and take it off and then I think tomorrow when it's light I will do my makeup properly and I will show you the final result and then I'm gonna edit this whole video in an afternoon and upload it so that it's ready to go for Sunday. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. I'm I'm like I'm happy I'm glad that I did this because I feel like the Instagram filters that I looked at convinced me that I should do this and it's, it's actually not a bad outcome, but we'll see how it looks in the light of day because the lighting in here, as I've said a few times, is terrible. Hello, I'm back. This is the final look. I have just done my makeup, which is basically like just my everyday sort of makeup. A bit of eyeliner and stuff. Um, part of my everyday makeup is putting eyebrows on, so now I don't have to worry about that. So maybe I won't be so late for work anymore. Now I look like one of those cool Instagram high fashion people. I don't know what else to say. I feel like life is short and if you want to bleach your eyebrows, go ahead and bleach your eyebrows. Make 2023 the year of doing whatever you want and wearing whatever you want and just expressing yourself because life is too short. Just be you. And like, I think that I often can get caught up in the race as well of wanting to be as cool as everyone. Clearly I just bleached my eyebrows because I think that people look cool. I think embrace the crazy things you want to do and do them and if they don't turn out oh well at least you had a go rather than dying wondering anyway i'll see you guys 
for some more uh, silly things this year and I have a lot of sewing projects and other things lined up. So hopefully you guys stick around and see what happens on this channel in 2023. I'm very excited to just keep showing you guys a bit of my life and a bit of what I get up to. And until then, have a very happy new year and I'll see you guys very soon.